Well, hello, people, and welcome back to another episode of Space Astronomy. Your favorite monkey here, Smash Keys. You know, going on adventures. You like my, uh, my little fox hat? Fox hat, help. Yeah. Cast a fox. Hey? Cast a fox. Well, I've been doing work. Uh, haven't really done too much of anything. We kind of got automated ore processing done. We can ramp it up. But it's it's done. It's done. Uh, we should... Don't have automatic power gen yet. Hmm. Problem is, we need emeralds. We Because I'm trying to do a grind. I was trying to do the grinder, right? Because I, I feel like a lot of recipes need ender pearls. But I got everything set up. We're all ready to go for making a grinder. And it's temporary. Again, everything I build, super temporary. So we're gonna... Oh, that thing's so loud. So we're going to have a temper... Look what I built. This is a multi-block. It's an industrial squeezer. Do I have the blocks? It is... Squeeze? I was getting far too... No, that's not how you spell squeeze. Squeeze. Okay. So you need to build eight of these. So you need eight industrial squeezers. Cheap. And you need 18 industrial... Please tell me I didn't just throw it somewhere. Oh, it's in the quarry. <laughs> I was just garbaging stuff. Um, right down here. And then you need eight, 19 of these. So that's why I have one left over. Copper, iron, and then what it does is it creates this bad boy, which you then throw in seeds from all sorts of mods, and you get plant oil. And then plant oil you mix with ethanol, yeah, and then you get biofuel. I don't know, I just I just wanted something to do with it, and it was cheap enough, kind of kicking myself in the butt because I've uh, ended up using a whole lot of our iron. Can we actually shut you guys off? Oh. Well, the hum isn't the best. Is the hum coming from this? Okay. Do we have mufflers? You guys... Get out of the way. Oh. Oh, much quieter. There we go. Makes my life a little bit easier. So I was in the process of getting set everything for the grinders. Then I came across the problem of... Well, guess what? We need a freaking mega spawner, which requires emeralds. And I, let me level with you. I, I racked my brain. Because there's no, there's no villagers. There's no villagers to trade with. Oh, okay. So how does one get emeralds, you may ask? Well, you can mine them in a extreme hills edge biome. And I did. I mined. I went, I flew around. You know what? Here, I'll even show you. So if you look way over here at negative 3087 and positive 753, it is a Extreme Hills biome. There might be some closer. Mm, not that I've found. So that's an Extreme Hills biome. An emerald should spawn there. And I mined for a very long time and I didn't find a single emerald. In fact, the whole the whole mountain looks like Swiss cheese looking for emeralds. Can't find them. Oh, okay. So where else can you get emeralds, I, I, I may, uh, may ask? Well, the next way would be uh, laser. Because lasers, it takes a whole lot of power. But the laser drill and the laser drill prechargers end up making a bunch of ores that normally you wouldn't get like it's not dependent on biome problem is if you want emeralds you end up doing lime or lime or green both requiring emeralds so i did a little test and for it it used so so much power and it got me a whole bunch of ores like rubies and sapphires but no emeralds so then i was scratching my brain how else how else can you get emeralds? Well, fusion. There we go. Emerald. Well, one way to get 
emeralds. Can I actually... Yeah, see? Lime, laser focus, a 2% chance. You think, oh, that's not so bad, 2%. Look at that. It takes uh, 1.5 million, right? 1.5 million RF to get a 2% chance. So you'd have to do it oh, so many times. So this is what we're going to do. Chemical synthesis, right? It's 50,000 RF. Not nearly as bad, but we need two chromium. So let's even, let's do the math. So two chromium, CR, which is an atomic mass of 24. We need one barrel and we need, oh, so we need two vanadium. V, no VA, and that's a 23. Okay. So, and then we need one barrel, ba barrel, barrel, which is beryllium, aluminum, aluminium, and metasilicate, which is uh, three oxygen, one silicon. Okay, pretty simple, pretty easy. Come on, where are you? There you are. Pretty easy, right? But then you go. Then you you're probably asking yourself. Well, beryllium is easy enough. Smash keys. You can get it from. You can get it from. Uh, why are you out of power? Oh, everything's out of power. Okay. There we go. I moved these over here, so that's why they're all super low. Super low. No, oh, and then there. Perfect. And I actually upgraded the wiring to heavy aluminum wire, which is just one aluminum. Can I do like you? I thought it was like I maybe. No. Ooh, what's this? Huh. B. No. It's one aluminum wire with an aluminum ingot and a wool. So it, it I think it doubles or triples the capacity, whatever. It just felt like I wasn't getting enough power. And I still feel like I'm not getting enough power. But anyway. So if you get a bunch of nether rack, which I went and got some from the nether, you burn it up. Oh, now now it's getting power. Are you? Oh, okay, so it is going. And you get beryllium and tungsten. And you're probably like, oh, okay, that's beautiful. But smash keys, how do you get every single time, every single time, right there. How does one get chromium, cro chromium, or vanadium? Well, you have to smash things together. That's right. How how do you smash things together? You might be asking. Well, mine chem will do that for you. So we need to build a bunch of things. So we need a bunch of glass. Uh, some redstone, some glowstone. Actually, I know there's glowstone in there. A bunch of glass in there. Some redstone. And probably some iron to be on the safe side. So we need a blueprint projector. So we need one of these. We need one of these or two of those? Concave, concave. Oh, okay, I needed two. All right. Okay. Bam. Uh... Bam. A glass pane, hey. Oh, I had glass panes at the house. I should have did that. Okay, bam. Blueprint projector. Then we need a blueprint, a fusion chamber blueprint, which is a diamond and some paper. Please tell me I have some more. Oh, I'm running real low. Real low. One, two, three. I'm all jittery. Okay. And fusion blueprint. Perfect. Okay. So, normally, I, I do want to put this in a chemical area. You know what I mean? Oh. I do want to make a chemistry building. 
like to do all to do all the chemicals. But as it stands right now, we uh, I, I need to do this first, just for my own for my own sake of not being crazy. We need to do this first. So was, uh, I need a bunch of iron. And I already did the math. So I need sixteen tungsten plates. Okay, tungsten plating. Uh, let's do this so I don't ruin it. Bam. Okay, and that's going to be making puttering. Oh no, this is the wrong one. That's okay though. I, I still need sixteen. Um, can I get rid of some of that? There we go. Okay, so I need fusion walls. I need twelve fusion walls. So that's lead. Um, do we have lead? Perfect. So throw a bunch of lead in there. That's probably more than enough. Okay. Hopefully. Uh, fusion wall. Bam. And we need 12 of these. One, two, three. Bam. Okay. And the way this actually works is it's like a ghost block. And I can right click on this and it's not going to place it. So it's just, it's really easy to build. Super, super easy. There we go. Oh. Apparently it's not. So I'll be right back after I build this whole thing. Next. Oh. There we go. Okay. Beautiful. So now it's stopped, and now my pockets are full. All right, now the fusion chamber, you do fusion, pretty simple. Um, do I have any aluminum wire left? I do, let's do the heavy duty stuff. So I need, um, no aluminum, nothing. Oh, there it is, one, two, three, four. Um, one, two, three, four. Like so. Let's take these power packs back. This is going to take a lot of power. So much power. But hopefully, for hopefully, we'll be able to get a. Um... Oh, see, so you got a little bit of power coming through there. Ta -da. So, it'll be a simple matter of, uh, how much fuel you got? Oh, yeah, 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 this thing will be able to fill up. So now it's just a matter of doing math. How many emeralds do we need, right? So at the very least, we need a spawner, which requires two emeralds, which means we need, uh, math. Mm. Two barrel. So this we can do no problem. It's the the vanadium. So we need two. We need four vanadium and four chromium. So what do we have that's close? You know what I mean. So lead is too much. Uh, four. So titanium's super super close. So titanium will do. So we need, what did I say, four? So right there, bam. So we need four titanium and one hydrogen, oh, which we don't have. Oh, hey look, we got chromium right off the bat. And then, so we just need some H2O maybe? Hmm. So, watch. Take a bucket, throw it through there. Bam. We've got a bunch of hydrogen now. Perfect. So, head over to the fusion, throw in some titanium, which is 22, and then we need, bam, vanadium. And then we already have chromium. So we should be able to synthesize it. So BRB wants to get everything ready. 
So I don't need much, but I do need a little bit of aluminum. There we go. Perfect. Plenty. And then we just have to put the synthesizer here. There we go. Again, power. Perfect. So, barrel, please, will you work? Oh, you don't do recipes. Right. Okay. One, two, three. One. Uh, I think we needed two, four. Oh, man, math. One, two, three, four. Oh, wait, 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 what? So we need barrel, which is six metasilicates. So I need, I need two. So I need 12, 24 of these. Uh, 24, perfect. And then for barrel, we need six to aluminum one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, two aluminum, and then three beryllium. One, two, three, four. Perfect. And then we need one barrel, two chromium, oops, two vanadium. Nope. Just like this. Did I do it the exact same way? I did. Uh, oh, it needs two barrel. So V's on the side, chromium on the top. <gasps> Ta -da! Ta -da! So it was, must be raining in the overworld. So it was a lot of work, but at our level, not so bad, you know? So now, let's empty our inventory a little bit. Oof. Oh. And throw all the metals back in there. Perfect. And this will be our chemistry set. Perfect. Okay. Now we need all the stuff. Right? Okay. I think I'm just going to pick it all up. So much. Okay. All right. We'll just do the things one at a time. So we need an engine, because you know, we need power over there, right? Bam. Okay. We need um, the spawner. Please tell me I have everything ready to go. Bam, nope. Bam, nope. What are we, what are we missing? Oh, we're missing the factory machine. K, 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 K. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's make a couple of those. Spawner. Bam. Perfect. Uh, we need two drums, which are made like so. One. I don't need two. I just need one. Man, I'm bad at math. Like that. Bam. Let's get rid of this. Okay, now we need a grinder. Um, what are we missing? One of these. One of these. So we need piston. Bam. Mm, let's just do one. Bam. Okay, here we are. Here we go. Bam. So grinder. We're getting there. Okay. Oh, now we need flux ducts to transfer power. So let's do a, a stack of these. Let's make some... Mm, I don't think we're going to need hardened, so maybe let's hold off on that. Uh, what else? Fluid duct. Ooh, where are you? There you are. Temperate fluid duct. Let's do some of those. And let's do... That should be enough. 
Okay, now what else can I think of? Oh, we need uh, servos. Bam. Just need the two. I think that's about it. We might be wrong, and we might have to come back, but I feel like that's good. Oh! You know what we do need? I just remembered. Conveyor belts. Uh, I think I did the math on the other one, and I needed a stack and a half. So one, two. Alright. And I think that's it. Mm, yep, that's perfect. Okay. Let's head down here. So what I did, probably can't see too much, so let's pop a torch here and there. So there was that, remember this zombie spawner? So we put a zombie spawner here. They should be spawning. Come on. Maybe the torches are too much? So the zombies are going to spawn, and they're going to drop down here, eh, almost, oh no, monster hunter, okay, and then we need some power, right here, let's get a cell. Grinder here and should immediately start killing them. Perfect. And then we need a fluid duct. Like so. Nope. Stupid. Nope. Fluid duct. What? What's going on? What? Why does it keep... Okay, so apparently this fluid hook doesn't want to work. But that's okay, that's fine. Okay, so spawner goes here because the endermen need to be so tall. Actually, this is not going to be enough. What? Oh, scared me. All right, be right back after we wire this up. the opaque fluid ducts don't want to work, or no, was it? Temperate? If the uh, see-through fluid ducts don't want to work, we'll try the invisible one, the invisible ones, the ones you can't see through, okay? Oh, finally, okay. Okay, we'll come up to about, I don't know, here? And then, like so. Okay, we need to run power too. This gets infinitely easier. Of course. This gets infinitely easier when you have uh, tesseracts, which isn't terribly far off from where we are. Okay. 
I accidentally made the wall a little bit too far back. What? Come on, now get it together, smash keys. Okay. So I'm just going to place it straight in there. And now, if when this gets enough essence, it's going to start spawning Enderman. I did this wrong. Like that. Oh. Like that. And then we need a servo there. No, are you not gonna not gonna please work? No. Do you not like when Oh I hate this mod. It normally works. I don't know what's going on. Opaque servo. Oh come on, servo. Bam. Bam. <gasps> it worked. But I don't want it like that. Because <laughs> I want it to have like this. What? You're killing me. Where is it now? Okay. Essence drum down. G -g -g -g. Okay. Everything out of my hotbar. Nothing that doesn't need to be there. Okay, essence drum. Oh. Essence drum. Okay, I'm just going to re log. Okay, loading, loading, perfect. Get rid of this thing. And then essence drum. Perfect. Oh, it's working. Okay. Uh, temperate. Like this. Servo. Oh, my God. Perfect. And then I want you to go. So that means it's probably going to pull out immediately. It's going to dump in here. has two essence. Okay. So now it's just a matter of hanging out here and waiting for mobs to spawn. If they do. Am I too far away? Oh, there they go. Come on. Are you getting killed by the drop? Please don't tell me you're getting killed by the drop. Yeah, some of them are. That's a problem. <laughs> it's because they're taking damage. Some of them are taking damage when they hit. You know what I mean? Oh! Didn't get any, uh... So, I think it'll just be a simple matter of... Because I, I had it perfectly perfectly out. So let's, um... Hmm. I know, I know. Like that. Like that. That. 
Ну. Flight is by far the most useful thing in the world, and I feel kind of cheaty by using it. Oh, and then uh, flux duct. There you are. And then a generator that currently has nothing. And then this. I won't get pushed in there. So I could do this. Oh. Like so. Oh, and then we also need to bring up the floor a little bit. So the mobs stop dying. Okay, let's check it out. Come on, spawn. Spawn. Okay. Perfect. They're not dying now. They're taking 18 damage from the fall. So, that'll slowly... See? Endermen are spawning. Perfect. Now, this is a great little AFK system to slowly... See? Oh, and they took one damage there. That means the 18 damage fall, the 18 damage drop won't kill them. Perfect. Now, we have slow ender pearls. Uh, we could also augment this a little bit by getting our own experience with the extractor. We see with the XP extractor, you take a bucket of your own essence, your levels, and you turn it into a bucket of mob essence, and then you can use it to start the grinder. I use it a lot to... Uh, Is there a zombie in here? Oh, he's on top. There we go. I use the uh, I use it to usually kickstart a grinder. Uh, one way we can make this net positive in the essence range is by uh, using slimes, spawning giant slimes, and then when they break down into littler slimes, they get more and more mobs so they get more and more essence because you get basically the exact same essence per mob you kill which is about 233 buckets i think 200 millibuckets so let's see let's see what we've accomplished down here ah, ho, 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 ho. so we are getting ender pearls then which is great which is beautiful. I might go a little AFK here. I actually, you know what, in addition to this, I might, in addition to this, build this exact setup on this side for blazes. Oh, but we can't move, no, oh wait, no, I can do a, a spawner. I can move them via a spawner. All right. Oh, and when they, um, it takes like, say, 400 millibuckets to spawn something, and since you get about, like, 233 millibuckets to grind something, you end up getting you end up getting essence back from killing the Enderman. So it's not a complete waste, you know? Hey, can you So this is this is my tree farm. We still don't have an automated I'm getting levels this way too, which is great. There we go. And then I have these uh, crafting benches randomly scattered. I think there's every, every once in a while. And then these trash cans as well. There we go. And they grow. And they grow fine. 
Let's go throw this down here, maybe. Are you gonna... Oh, there we go. Perfect. So, how you make this, by the way... Oh, I kind of did a little bit of stuff off screen. I should be, uh, should be letting you know. Pull this out of here and throw this in here. Uh, so how you make this is the crystal. Remember the whole mod thing? It's called a lava crystal by Tinker's Construct. So blaze rods, which we got. Fire charges, gunpowder, coal, and blaze powder. You only need to do this recipe twice because you get three. But the blaze powder, probably one of the easiest ways to increase your blaze rods. Ooh, blitz powder. What are you used for? Erothium. Is when you take your blaze rods, because you can smash them up. Actually, might as well do that right now. Look, so blaze powder, if you smash it up in your hand, you get two. If you pulverize it, grind it, smash it, whatever, you usually just get four. But with the macerator, you get five. So until, you, in, until you're rolling in uh, blaze rods, build yourself a macerator. Hey, done. Done and done. Uh, so in the meantime, maybe I'll get more ender pearls going. Maybe I'll just be AFK here for a little while. Because what do we need to do? Let's go. Let's go do the to-do list. I might do something off camera. And the quarry's done, so I need to move it. Um, grinder, done, kind of. And. And that's it. What we need to do is move the grinder, but also I it's a lot of work, but you end up netting positive on the essence. Basically you, you go and capture a slime, you use a slime and bigening syringe, and make it real, real big, biggest slime you can, and then you spawn that slime. And I maybe I'll do it in a test world to double check. But the way I remember it was it takes more power. Hmm. Well, we could we could run it up with say technology, but the idea is that if you spawn a slime, it'll it'll spawn random sizes. You know what I mean? So if it's spawning Enderman, doesn't matter. You're always going to get the you're always going to get the Enderman, which is fine. But when you're spawning slimes, it spawns them randomly. So that means it'll if it spawns more small ones if it spawns more small ones than large ones, you're going to get a net loss. So what you want to do is you want to embiggen it. So it definitely spawns the largest ones, and then that way you're going to get a net positive. But then it costs a little bit more power and a little bit more essence. But it still it still nets positive. One thing you can do is is a veterinary, vet, veter, in the veterinary station will use will syringe stuff for you. So maybe we do that. <laughs> but I'll work on that. But and and if we do figure it out, we'll, we'll move the spawner here. See, can't even can't even see the mountain from here. Can't even see the thing. Maybe uh, maybe we'll put the grinder over here. Is that too far? I don't feel like that's too far. Maybe I'll make a little walkway. A little boardwalk. I think that's a good spot to put it. All right. We'll figure that out between this episode and the next episode. Oh, I forgot to get my power pack. Well, thank you for watching. And you have yourself a nice day.